Hello, welcome. Today we're going to have fun with some primary colours and colour theory. Colour theory is something that I love doing with the kids just because to me it's arty magic. So what we've got is, we've got pipette. If you have three that's even better, one for each colour, but I could only find one. So we've got one pipette. We've got some uh, blue water, which I used with some food colouring, but you can use watercolours too, some red water and some yellow water. And we've got a whole bunch of coffee filters. And now we're going to explore what happens when you mix colours. I'm going to start with some yellow. Just a little yellow here, a little yellow here, and maybe some over here. So to kind of like reduce the mess, <laughs> well not the mess, but kind of the colour chaos, we're going to just, just do two colours at a time, just to begin with, but obviously, you know, the children can do what they want. There we go. And this is a great sort of like activity that you can set up and let the children discover for themselves when they come home. So what can you see? I've got a plate underneath here, which is a bit, bit why the colour is kind of collecting, but can you see how it's already turning a little bit orange in parts? Got orangey bits, got red bits, um, and you've got your yellow bits. So let's just let that mix. And then what you'll do is you take your coffee filter and you let it hang up and dry because you can use these later for some cutting activities. So I'm going to put it to the side and get another one out. Sorry, let's wipe the plate for the next colour because now we want to see what happens when you mix red or should we do yellow and blue first because that's usually a bit more spectacular. Let's see. What's really good is you can get to the, ch get to the children and say, what do you think will happen? So what do you think will happen when I add blue? Can you guess? Let's see. What colour will we get? Oh, can you guess already? What sort of colour is that? Now what you'll find is also with commercial colours, they aren't always pure. So the normal colour theory isn't always as spectacular as you hope. But look here, that line there is a beautiful green. So maybe I'm just going to add a bit more yellow on top. And let's see. Oh, I've got some green inside my pipette because we had a bit of yellow and a bit of... Here we go. That way around works a bit better, actually, if I squirt the yellow onto the blue. That's interesting as well, isn't it? Why does it show better if you do blue first and yellow second? And I can tell you why. That's because blue, and especially my blue, is a really strong colour. And it kind of like takes over. So you need, so the yellow, when you put it on top, you know, you only need a little bit of yellow to kind of show, oh, I think I've kind of contaminated. Oh, I'm contaminating my yellow over here. Can you see? Well, that is part of the fun, to be honest. And I don't think it matters too much. Here we go. So that showed us how blue oops, and yellow turn into, can you tell me? Green. Lovely. Now I want to try the last colour. And like I said, I'm going to keep these and hang them up to dry so that we can use them later for an art project. Here we go. Let's wipe the tape of the plate. Here we go. And I'm also going to keep this all set up just the way it is for you guys on my video. And then when my children come home from their school, they can have a go. Right. What colour should we do first? Red or blue? I think I'm going to go for blue. Let's see. So we've got a lovely blue. Maybe a little bit more. And of course, if you want, you can let the children do all three colours and then see what happens. Can you guess? I'm guessing that if you do all three colours, you're going to get like a brownie mixture. So let's see. Red and blue turns into... Can you see? That's a purpley colour. Here we go. We often talk about secondary and primary colours. So our primary colours are red, yellow and blue. And our secondary colours are the ones that they mix into, which is purple, green and orange. And it's good to do this over and over again because we've been talking about primary colours for years in our house and they still don't always remember. So it's really one of those repeat activities that you can do over and over again. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? And there we go. We have our three primary colours, yellow, red and blue. We've mixed them to make purple. We've mixed them to make 
some green. So oh, you can't see that so well, but it's very wet still, so it makes it a bit see throughy. And we've mixed them to make some oranges. So I hope you've had fun and that you have a go at this at home soon. And see you again soon. Bye.